All right. So today we're going to go over um, a basic rogue budget build. A lot of people think you can't build a budget gem on rogue. Um, they do tend to be a little bit pricey, but if you're careful and you pay pretty close attention to what you're picking, you actually can make out pretty good and um, be fairly affordable. So most people consider the cornerstone of any gym to be the barbell. So let's dip over into barbells and take a pick. All right. So there's a lot of cool options. The Cerakote's pretty neat. Um, ooh, I didn't know Matt Fraser had a bar. All right, we'll come back to that. Um, try not to get distracted. What you want to do is find the Boneyard bars. Let's see if I can look those up here. Where are they? Come here, Boneyard Bars. Oh. oh man, look at that. Camber Bar, 290. No, 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 no. Stay focused. Uh, one of the things to remember when you are on the website is to try to pay attention and not get distracted by all the fancy stuff. Oh man, look at that. True Log. Um, let's, I just want to quick view it. Huh. Oh, good. Not in stock. Thank goodness. It'd be pretty cool, though. Um, oh, these are great. Um, I've used these a couple of times. My All right. No. Focus. All right. Down here. Boneyard bars. Uh, the beauty of the boneyard bars is they typically are just cosmetic blemishes. There's nothing wrong with them from a structural st standpoint. Rogue is not going to sell you something that they're not confident in the structure of. Um, these are just, they can't go retail on these because uh, of whatever, the manufacturing. So you still have a lot of options to choose from. Um, the Echo Bar, eh, I'm not a huge fan of that. If you can find yourself a Boneyard Ohio Bar, that's what I'd go with. I really like the Ohio Bar. Look at that, red shaft and black sleeves. Oh, that's a Bella, dang it. Um, da -da -da -da. Raw women's, 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 hmm. That's interesting. You know what, though? I mean, honestly, the um, the barbell's kind of your most important piece of equipment. So, like, yeah, you can save a few bucks down here, but really, if you're going to spend money, spend it on the barbell, right? I mean, that's fairly conventional wisdom. So, let's... Eh, all right, hang on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, man, that is really slick looking. I just want to look at it. I just want to, ooh, hard work pay. All right. That's pretty cool. So, Fraser being Fraser, you know, you don't, uh, God bless Rony, or uh, Froning, rather. He's, he's a nice guy, but of course he's got his big logo on there. Whereas Fraser puts um, this more or less his catchphrase on here, which I really love. Um, red and black aren't my colors, but that's pretty great. And a 375, that's a steal. Um, not available yet, so let's go up here. Pretty. Okay. So, not the most budget bar. You could probably go with the 2.0. But, Cerakote, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's going to last a long time. It's available in a lot of options. So, if you're going to spend a little extra money, let's go here. Um, I'm partial black and green myself. Uh, so, we'll just add that to the cart. And we'll just, you know, we'll bite the ball. Oh, forgot to add my quantity there. Um, we'll just bite the bullet on the barbell because obviously that's where you need to spend the most money. Um, that's where you need to make sure you're not skimping, right? Add it, dang it. There we go. Maybe. Cool. All right, let's continue shopping. So the next thing you need is a rack or a squat stand. Um, it kind of depends on what you're going for. Uh, conventional wisdom says, you know, get yourself a power rack, spend the money on the power rack, but we're going budget, so let's let's just take a look at some squat stands and see what's out there. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, man. Um, so the SM1, all this stuff, you, there's various tubing options, uh, but with Rogue, you can pretty much just find something affordable that's tall enough for you to do pull-ups on. Um, you don't have to get, what is this? That's intriguing. No, 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 back up. Don't get distracted. It's very easy to get distracted on this website. 
There's lots of things that, you know, are very easy um, to, to get distracted by. So, okay. Let's take a look at... Probably going to want to go Echo. I mean, Monster really is nicer. I really like Monster series. But Echo is going to be the most... Oh, look at that. That's garbage. You don't want that. All right. Monster it is. We can go Monster Light. We don't have to go crazy. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. 90 inch. That gives you plenty of room for pull-up. You got your fat skinny bar. Um, so we can choose that. You know, I... I oh, that's nice. Let's add that. Um, oh, the collars are free. Man alive. Ooh, you could combo the Ohio bar. It's always good to have a second barbell. Uh, you know, well, let's get a Bella. You know, maybe maybe your wife wants to work, and that's a pretty good deal to add that in. So let's just add that Bella bar in. Um, and honestly, if you want to work like Olympic lifts and get a little whip, a Bella bar is kind of nice because it, it flexes a little bit better. Um, we'll go back to this. I want to go look at benches. We're not going to add that right now. Ooh, plates. We'll get back to that. Um, you gotta have the spotter arms. Wheel. Oh yeah, you're gonna want wheel brackets in case you need to move it. So, gotta have that. That's a no-brainer. Mounting feet. Nah, we're not gonna mount it. We'll just, we'll just leave it as is for now. That, that looks good. 660. That's a steal. Let's continue shopping here. Alright, so we've got a squat stand. You know what? Just for the heck of it. Let's go, let's go look at rigs. Let's just take a look. Actually, hmm, uh, maybe not rigs. Let's 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 look at power racks. See, power racks. If you're going to do power lifting, it, it's a lot safer. The spotter arms are nice. They they will definitely protect you. They're not. You know, that's one of the safer ways to go. But a power rack gives you a little bit more safety. You've got the spotter arms inside there, and man. I got color options on everything now. Mercy. All right, who rates this? Three stars. All right, we need to read this. What bonehead? The rack is great for small spaces, well built to last. My only issue is there's no way to upgrade that because Rogue is such. How you cannot? All right, here's the thing. I am totally fine if you give something on this site a three star rating if there's a problem with it. But if you're too stupid to understand how the accessories interact with each other, that's not Rogue's fault, that's your fault. Idiot. Okay, we did get a black and green bar. Um, I mean, do you really wanna be staring at something that doesn't match? Like, honestly. And, you know, 915 for the 390C is pretty good, but you get the full depth on the 490, and it's it's only like it's not that much more. It's what 160 dollars more. At that, I mean, that's a deal. And we can get it in, in bright green. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just add that in. Stabilize. We don't need a stabilizer. We, we got to save money. We don't need a stabilizer. Oh, uh, I got to select none. You know what? Let's get the stabilizer. It, it's probably smart. We want to get this to last. See, the thing that a lot of people forget when, when you're talking about affordability is, yes, you can skimp and save money in the short term, but if you spend it all up front, then you've got something that's going to last you forever. So let's just add that to the cart. We're going to get the color coordination. It's going to be a lot more satisfying. Um, we can go back and take that other stuff out of the cart later. All right, let's continue shopping. So we've got, we've got a beautiful power rack. We've got a really nice bar. Um, we're going to need something for cardio. So we're probably going to need to go look over there. So let's look at some conditioning equipment. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get over to the concept too. See, all right, the Rogue Echo Bike. I've had the chance to get on that sucker down at Rogue HQ. It's a beautiful bike. Um, it's very comparable to the... Uh, Schwinn Airdyne Pro, which is probably still my favorite. It's nice, but it's it doesn't move quite as nice. And I like the extra grips on the handles of the Airdyne Pro. But I mean, for 750, it's kind of a no-brainer. The Assault Air Bike, I hate. Um, that's just a personal preference. I just hate it. 
I think it's terrible, and I don't like it. Um, concept two, uh, the rower's a no-brainer for pretty much any gym. Great conditioning, great cardio, um, great all-around workout. The ski erg as well, you're getting a lot of back in there. It's, it's a unique cardio experience. Um, I mean, I'm not advocating the 10-pack, obviously. This is a home gym. But um, at a savings of buying 10 of absolutely nothing, uh, you know what, just, just buy one. But, ooh. Oh. Three pack. I like that. I've, I've never actually been on the Concept 2 bike, but it's got to be great. Everything else they do is great and they're consistent. I mean, it's just, it's the same experience. Right, let's, let, hang on a second. Let's do some math. All right. Ooh, ooh man. But, mm, you don't, man, it's hard to think about. So you've got you've got a couple of models to choose from. Um, the truth of the matter is, I've been on I think every single different model they offer. Um, I'm not good enough to tell the difference. If you're building a budget home gym, probably like me, you're not going to tell the difference. So just get get the most affordable one. It's going to be good. It's going to be accurate. You're going to be able to get a good workout. Um, I just keep coming back to this triple pack. Cause honestly, like who wants to row all the time? You want to row all the time? Have you rowed? Rowing is terrible. No one likes it. It's not fun. You have to do it. It's great conditioning. No one's going to argue that, but it's boring. Uh, boy. Seems like a deal, doesn't it? I'm not going to actually like look at the math or anything, but it does seem like a deal. Lots of people have the black one. You're going to want the gray one. 180 for the floor stand. That's a no-brainer. You don't want to have to mount that ski erg. It's $180. It's not that big of a deal. You're just going to want to add that. So we're going to add that in. Oh, man. All right, Rogue. You make it hard to uh, add things to your cart. You really shouldn't do that. You need to make that a little simpler. Streamline that process. All right. So we've got all the conditioning, conditioning equipment we could ever need. Uh, ooh. Reminds me, we're gonna have to come back and look at some jump ropes. Voodoo floss, voodoo floss bands are kind of oh man, monster bands. All right, we'll come back to all this. We're gonna need all the ooh. mobility is a huge part of working out. We'll get back to that. Okay, let me continue my shopping. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. You know what? I didn't even think about this. So, oh man, running is terrible. Everybody can agree on that. No one likes it. It's not fun. Um, honestly, I don't see the point of it. But if you're going to do it, you might as well learn how to do it right. Um, your air salt over here has, you know, more reviews. They're all very positive. It's a little bit cheaper, uh, but it is it is an assault branded thing, and I really hate the air assault bike. Again, personal preference. I know it's the the bike of CrossFit, but I despise it. Um, and this is probably great. But, I mean, if what does this mean? I don't know what this means. Okay, if you're going to spend uh, $5,600, uh, it's more like 57 If you're going to spend $5,700 on a treadmill, and, and granted, it's worth it because this thing's going to teach you how to run properly. It's going to keep you on the balls of your feet. Um, it's overall a great treadmill, and you really need something for indoor running when it gets cold or it's raining. You don't want to skimp on it, so you're going to want to get the performance model. Um, and it'd be really stupid to... Oh, not 10. That's silly. That'd be ridiculous. Um, you're not you're not going to want to get it without the display, obviously, so just don't skimp on this. You'll regret it later. You'll end up, you know, having to sell it on a secondary market for half the value. So you might as well pay for it, pay for it once, and be done with it. So we're going to go ahead and add that True Form Runner. Um, everything I've uh, picked up on the internet or kind of read says it's great. So we're going to go ahead and, add. man, really? Uh, do we need grips? Might need grips. It depends on. Mm, yeah, we'll get back to that. Got to focus. Let's get back here. Okay. So we've got cardio covered. We've got every piece of cardio equipment we need, um, all the must-haves. We've got our rack. Um, we've got uh, barbell, and we got the barbell for the wife 
or if you want to work on uh, ollie stuff without you know having to worry about putting enough weight on there to make the bar actually whip so what we need next before we get to some of that other equipment is we need plates um, now since you're doing a home gym steel plates are all nice and you can buy them used and that's all fine and everything but you really are going to want bumpers uh, you don't want to damage your floor so you're going to want something that is going to be affordable but isn't going to damage your concrete because repairing concrete is not cheap so you have to think about the implications of that um, oh man that's pretty mm. Mm -mm -mm. so you look at the rogue the rogue hg2s um, plain jane bumper very affordable uh, the high temps are manufactured in the u.s which is i think it's like the only bumper that is so you know if that's important that's always an option um boy oh, that's a sexy plate uh you know this isn't that much more expensive hmm and honestly who wants to have to go buy plates again you're gonna have plates forever right so just if you're gonna spend money if you're gonna spend extra money in one spot it's got to be on the plates so i mean we're not going full competition here we're not going the cheapest bumpers. We're not going steel. We're doing something that's going to protect our floor. Uh, it's going to last a long time. Um, you have the side benefit of it looking slick. That's not why I'm picking it. It just it's nice that it does. Um, you're going to need you know you're going to need to grow, grow into the weight as well. So you're going to want to get enough weight. Um, a lot of people are going to tell you two tens enough. I disagree with that. Um, if we if you ended up getting a hex. You know what? You should get a hex bar. We'll go look at hex bars in a minute. But if you end up getting a hex bar, 300, 300, 210, that's not enough. You need at least six or 700 pounds of weight. Um, so what I'm going to recommend is that get one of these, which is going to give you 25s, 35s, 45s, and the 55s. Get yourself an extra pair of the 55s. We're going to add those. And then we're going to go back over to the bumpers because we're going to want some 15s. We're going to want some 10s. Probably going to want some 5s and some change plates. So if we go back over to... Da, 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 da. Let's go to plates again. Let's open this sucker up. So uh, let's just get right here. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get a pair of 10s. We're going to get a pair of 15s. Let's add those in. And then we need some fives and we need some change plates, obviously. Because you're not going to want to, like, you're going to want to keep progressing, but you don't want to, like, stack a ton of weight on your back all at the same time. That's stupid. You're going to get hurt. So, in the, I mean, when, when you think about it, as far as affordability, you want to have as much variety as possible in your plates so that you never overdo it and you have all the options available to you as far as like interval training because if you go too heavy and you hurt your back or slip a disc uh, surgery is a lot more expensive than a plate investment i'm gonna tell you that right now um, when an aspirin can cost you fifty dollars at the er how much do change plates really cost let's look at that so if it, keep it in perspective each aspirin is like 50 bucks if you had to get cut open and have a like an artificial disc put in or something crazy like that that's going to be 30 40 50 thousand dollars 25 kilogram uh set of change plates 265 bargain at it done oh i got kilograms whoops hang on we got to go back to pounds where's my pounds we don't want any of that where's the pounds here we go Oh, even cheaper. 181. No problem. Do it. So that gives us the five and the tens. Oh yeah. Alright. So there's our change plates. Um, we're gonna need the fractionals to give us the full set. Which is probably where that extra extra money is. So let's go back over to uh, change plates again. We're gonna grab these fractionals, get the full set of that. Still, we're under three hundred bucks in that. And that is so much cheaper than even like an office visit to the family physician. It's nothing in the grand scheme. So we're gonna add those right into that cart. And uh, I can't forget, I gotta take the stuff out of that cart. Uh, extras that we don't need. So we got the full set. Now we got the full set of plates. Um, I think the only thing we really need, uh, you know what, we should probably get a couple of steel plates. 
Not a ton. We don't need a ton. Just a couple extra 45s. Let's get two extra pairs of 45s. That's going to give you enough weight where you're not... Well, actually, we've already got 45s. Let's get two pairs of 55s. Um, that's going to give you everything you could need. You know, everything you could need as far as lifting weight on that. Like if you went to a hex bar. You know what? We need to go look at hex bars. Okay, so we, we've talked a little bit about, you know, what the medical implications are of poor form and trying to pull too heavy on a deadlift. And that's God's own lift. I mean, that's that's the lift. Like, if you're only going to do one thing, you do deadlift or squat or bench. But you do all those things. If you're going to do one thing. But if you got a bad back or you're a little worried and you still want to pull heavy because who doesn't want to pull heavy, you're going to need a good hex bar. So they've got a couple of auction or trap bar. They call it a trap bar. They call it a hex bar, trap bar. Ooh. Probably going to want to... We'll go back to that. Okay. So there's the regular trap bar. It's 295 but you're really going to want one with the high... They got a safety squat bar too? Hmm. Okay. Trap bar. Th this is a no-brainer, obviously. Really great build quality. I've used this. The knurling's super aggressive. It'll give you a good grip if you want to go heavy. So we're going to add that. And that's, again, we got to protect that back. This is not just about... Cool. Branch beam. This is not just about... Man, camber? Okay, we need to look at some of these. Continue. This is not right now. We don't need that right now. This is not just about outfitting your gym. It's about protecting your body. Because you, if you end up spending too much or, or skimping on the equipment you have and hurting yourself, it's going to cost you a lot more in the long run. All right. So we've got our hex bar. We've got the plates we need. We've got the cage. We've got the cardio equipment. Oh, except we need a jump rope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's going to be under conditioning. Oh, we'll need to look at some kettlebells too, but we'll get back to that. So jump rope. Um, you know, if you're looking to build a garage gym and it's a little later in life, you don't really want to, um, you don't want to spend a lot of time and energy invested in like working tediously on getting double unders. So it's really important that you get something with bearings that, what is this? Okay, never mind. Um, that you get something with bearings that basically make it almost a sure thing that you're going to get double under. The best way to do that is to go over here and uh, sort by price high to low. Um, except for whatever this thing is. You find the most expensive rope. That's going to guarantee you have the best bearings. Give yourself a little room in the cable. Um, that's going to give you everything you need. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. Just find the priciest rope you can and then get that one. Um, it seems like ridiculous to spend 159.50 on a jump rope, but it's going to help you get to those double unders. It's going to give you more time with your family. It's going to give you more time to enjoy the things you like outside of working out, which for me, um, it's going to give you more time with your family. And that is, you know, you, you got to put a value on that too. So when you factor in affordability. So we've got a jump rope. Uh, we want to go back. Ooh, okay, hang on. We're going to need rings. Ah, uh, wood gymnastic rings starting at 25. I'm not a big proponent of getting anything that isn't made out of metal. I know these ones are. They happen to be black and green, which is nice. Um, good powder coat. These are going to last a lot longer. Um, wood gymnastic rings, you might break, what, three, four pairs of those a year? I have no idea. I've never owned any. But you're going to want these. Uh, they're black and green. Um, they're very affordable for longevity if you factor that in. So we're just to add those right in. I'm going to get those. No problem. Okay, the next thing we need to go look at is... Well, we need kettlebell. We need a plyo box. Now, again, um, I'm going to recommend you get this uh, foam box. It's soft. It won't hurt your shins. Uh, you won't be as scared of it. So don't mess around with a wooden box. Don't try to make one on your own. It takes time and like a drill or a saw or something. So just get the foam one. It's uh, easier to move around. Um, this is better. So just get that. Add that to the list. Man, come on, website. We got things to do. Take it a thousand. Ooh, that's a nice shirt. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we got rings. 
We'll worry about that. Ab mats are nice, but obviously ab mats are not a necessity. We've got the pull-up thing. We're not going to get ridiculous about this. Um, conditioning. Kettlebells. Uh, yeah, we should probably... Kettlebells are really pretty important. Um, you don't need anything fancy on kettlebells because no one likes them. They're just sort of like an accent piece to your gym. So my recommendation on that is to get some that are like ludicrously heavy and just talk about them. Talk about them like you pick them up a lot. Um, don't, obviously. But just get two 203s, leave them in the corner. It's more like an accent piece. They have to be in a gym. It's mandatory. But you don't need to like think about it. Don't look at them. Just, they're terrible. Nobody likes them. Okay. Straps and wrist supports, belts. Okay, so belts. Obviously, you're going to want a belt. Um, I mean, you got this one. This is the one I believe uh, Frazier was endorsing. I, I have I have one of these. I really like it. It's very affordable. But, I mean, this, this is cool looking. Can you put patches on this? Can't do that on mine. Yeah, you're going to probably want to get one of these. Um, you know, follow the size chart. If you want one of these patch... Oh, Fraser. Yeah, we're going to do hard work pays off. Let's probably just get, like, on the notify me list for when that Cerakote bar comes out. Um, and maybe get one of those. You can never have too many barbells. You never know when one of those things is just going to break in half. You don't have a backup, obviously. It's pretty necessary. Come on, just add it. Thank you. So, ooh, I didn't even think about this. All right, so like one of the things that's a lot less understood about uh, um, any exercise is that probably the most effective uh, strength training you can do is strongman stuff. Um, you get like an added benefit from it looking so cool. So people think that's not a real thing, but like honestly, when you load up one of these on your back and you walk around with it, you're able to feel stronger, and feeling stronger actually does make you perform at a higher level. Um, ask anybody who's competed in front of a crowd. It's just a fact. So, you know, instead of that squat stand we added, oh, we, you know what, we just get a conversion kit. We already got everything we need in the squat stand. So it has this handy little conversion kit. We're gonna want that side storage because we got a, we need a place to put all that. So let's just let's add the yoke conversion kit. We'll be able to slide this sucker right onto the squat stand we added. Add that in, and I don't have to worry about taking anything out of the cart later. Um, we'll be able to convert our our squat stand into a yoke power man or power lifting yoke. Um, you can load that sucker on your back, walk around with it. Make sure you know if if you're in a cul de sac, it's perfect. You got a nice straight road. Lots of people can see it. Um, it's going to feel good. You're going to feel good about yourself. Log handles. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't really need the farmer's carry walk. We've got the hex bar. You load that sucker up and you can farmer carry that. That's not a big deal. Got a rig. We've got conditioning. So the next thing I think, you know, the, the final, the final thing you want to add to this is your shoes. Um, people like to think you can get away with like one general purpose pair of like cross training um so like nanos are a, a pretty solid choice but really if you if you care about protecting your back and you care about maximizing the time you spend in the gym you're going to want to get a couple of different pairs of shoes um obviously you're going to start with a pair of nanos uh just we're just going to add these right in there but that's not where it ends. You need to get a couple of other pairs. Um, my gosh, could this website be slower? Just let me buy things. Let's go. Go, go, go. There we go. We got to get back to mobility, though, for real. Mobility is important. You're going to get hurt if you don't stretch. I heard that somewhere. Uh, ta -ta. So we got nanos. I, I'm not a fan of the Metcons. Lots of people do like the Metcons. I have a wider foot, so they don't feel very good. The nanos are very spacious in the toe, which I like. Um, so we got our we got our general. Uh, let's look at weightlifting shoes. A good solid weightlifting shoe is 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 key for any Olympic lift. Speaking of, we need to go back and look at deadlift platforms. Just 
I'll get back to it. Um, I like the Legacies. I have a pair of these suckers. They're very nice. This is not my size, uh, though I do like that color scheme. So I guess, you know, whatever. Only 11s? Come on, man. Give me a break. This nonsense. What else you got? All right, fine. I'll add these. I'm not a fan of the color scheme, but whatever. Just add it to the card. Um, you're also going to want to get like a running shoe. Now, I, I like riding barefoot. It works for my foot. It's not going to work for everybody's foot. Um, but you can pick up a pair of barefoot shoes for like 40 or 50 bucks if you time it right. Um, there's, there's lots of different options in that realm. So just find something that works for you. Or don't run. Uh, primarily, like often I just recommend not running. Okay, mobility. Um, we're going to want some bands. Probably get some floss bands. Uh, just find the weirdest looking foam roller you can. That's usually the best one. This thing I hear is good. It looks weird, but it's supposed to be... Okay, rumble roller. There you go. Let's get that. Um, so we'll get the original. Uh, get the biggest one they have. So we don't have to buy two little ones. Uh, it's probably more expensive than one big one. Again, um, just assuming. So we're going to add that on there. So you can do all these things. You can... Uh, you can put your back on it. Um, hey, you, that's a use for a kettlebell. Like a, you do that. Um, this hurts, so I wouldn't do that. I, I'm not positive on the health benefits, but it is painful. Um, this also hurts, so I wouldn't do that either. Um, man, a lot of this stuff looks like it hurts. I just, you know, have it. You might use it, but. Mostly just keep it there. Uh, da, da, da. Voodoo floss, voodoo floss. What's the difference? I don't know. Anyway, go back here. You're going to want, so that come with two. Two, seven. All right, yeah, get get those. You're going to want that. You want one of those. That'll, that'll get you what you need. You don't need to go with this 28 foot. That's ridiculous. $42. Who's going to spend that on mobility? This looks like it hurts, so I wouldn't put that there. That looks painful, but it does make your arm look huge. So, you know, that's probably worth it. <sighs> Anything else for mobility? Oh, this looks dumb. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'd probably buy it. That's neat. Anyway. It's enough mobility. I don't really want to waste a lot of time in there. Uh, we got our shoes. Again, go get running shoes if you feel like it. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I think that's about it. I mean, that's that's a that's a solid um, starter gym. Um, it'll let you get up and rolling. You're obviously going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Almost forgot. How foolish would I be? Deadlift platform. Absolute must. For like a wide variety of reasons. Anybody tries to tell you you don't need one of these, they're nuts in their head. They have no idea what they're talking about. Um, deadlift platforms and an ollie platform, really, if you want to do Olympic stuff, absolute, absolute necessity. So my recommendation is you get four of these plastic tiles and put some hardwood in the middle so that you have a solid base. Like if you're just going to deadlift on it, the plastic is fine. Or the rubber, rather. I keep some plastic. The rubber's fine. Uh, but you can, you have the, oh, we're going to need to get some bands to go with this. So we're going to have to go back and get the bands. But for now, um, get the one with the four plastic, or oh, gosh, I can't stop saying that. The four rubber tiles. Um, this is going to be another thing that's going to help protect your floor with those bumpers. So that's the eight. It includes two floor plates so that uh, the unit does not need to be bolted. We don't worry about that. Eh, just get it with all four. We're going to get it. We're going to get Let's just get the eight pack. So we're gonna get an eight pack. Uh, we're gonna get that. Just add that to the cart, and that's gonna protect our floor. So I don't. I mean, look up your local rates. If you can pour 10, 15 yards of concrete, it's super cheap, then go ahead and destroy your concrete. But it's not my recommendation. If you do that, that's on you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get that added. If the website will just do it, and then we need to go back to the bands. So we're gonna go, fly back to mobility here. Get some monster bands. Let's just find the biggest pack they have. 
Uh, yeah. So we're going to get two of these. That'll give us everything we need for, you know, working through some heavy deadlift. Pull. Oh, you know what? Um, everybody needs goals, so add two of the silvers. Oh, well, there you go. Look at that. Save some money. Perfect. Let's add that on there. Okay. Now, that should be everything we need, I would assume. Um, let's just, yeah, let's just quick. Let's do a quick once over. See, ooh, T bar. Yeah. Mm, do we want, should we get T bar bros? Maybe. All right, let's just take a peek. Let's go look at this. So, I mean, that's good for back development. We're probably going to want one of those. Let's just add that while we're over here. It's an extra $40. It's not that much. It's going to give you the, but oh, we're going to need like a landmine to go with that, though. We need to find, yeah, right there. Perfect. All right, let's make let's finish this come on add we gotta get the landmine perfect all right let's quick view um we re we only need a single we're gonna add that to the cart save ourselves some money on only getting the single gotta shave cost out of this wherever we can keep it affordable all right so we got the landmine that's gonna get us some nice options for back and shoulder development and really round things out. Oh, that's a clever use of that. Um, was there anything else? Anything else that we needed to look at? Oh, we didn't even get a bench. What am I thinking? Oh my gosh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you? Reverse hyper. So, do we really need a reverse hyper? Hmm. So, obviously, we're going to need one of these. It's going to be you know, primary for your core. So we're not going to get an ab mat. Um, the GHD should be enough. Uh, the GHD 1.0 is plenty. You don't need the 2.0. Save yourself 150 bucks. Get the one. Um, just find a place to put it. Save yourself that 3650. Don't worry about adding the wheel set. You're, you're not going to move it that much anyway. Um, so come on, come on, come on, come on. This takes forever, man. So slow. Okay. Um, GHD, we got that. We need a good bench. We need to find something that can, like, incline, decline. I don't even know if they have a decline, but you're going to want to get something that's, like, all around if you can. Oh, that's nice. Uh, really? No incline, decline? Fine. All right, we'll just get an incline. All right, the Rogue Adjustable Bench, it's 545. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do that. That's standard. We already got the GHD, so we don't need the one with the ab attachment, obviously. Save money there. No problem. It's good. Save money left and right. Keep it cheap. Come on. Okay, now I saw something I think would just be like perfect. Very affordable addition to the rack. Where was it? Those are nice. Obviously not right now. Cause we got to keep this affordable. Yeah. Well, that's for infinity. Where's the monster? There it is. Okay. So this, the beauty of this thing is you you bolt this right onto the back of your rig. It gives you a, ver a reverse hyper, which is like ideal for deadlift development which again the only lift that you really need to be doing um period so we're going to add that and then we can hook that right onto our rig and we've got the reverse hyper right in there we got the deadlift platform in front um we got our hex bar so that we can get some accessories work on our speed um it's everything you could need for a starter gym so with that i think that'll do it I mean, I think we did a good job. So, that, all, all that equipment should, you know, that's, that's a, for a basic, you know, you, you're only going to need one bay of your garage. This isn't going to fill a two-car garage, so you can still pull a car in there, but you're going to have the full array of everything you could need. Um, you're going to want to pick this up, uh, drive to Columbus, save yourself that 225 in shipping. Each side you don't. Oh, did I? No, that's just the spotter arms. Gotta have those. Gotta have those. 
So if we want to run through this list again, we've got our Cerakote bar, um, we've got our squat stand, our spotter arms, we've got our power rack, um, we've got everything we could possibly need as far as like cardio, got to have that digital display, um, got the 320 pound set, got an extra pair of the 55s, uh, 10s and 15s obviously, um, but, oh we can get rid of this, yeah save ourselves 265, come on get out of there. Um, so we're going to get rid of that 25 kilogram. We've got the 37 on the change plates. We've got the fractional plates. We've got a couple of pairs of the 55 pound calibrated plates for when we get down to our trap bar down here when we're lifting heavy. It's going to come in handy. We got that elite jar or that pro jump rope. It's going to help us with those double unders. Gymnastic rings and the neon green. Obviously not a cosmetic choice. Those are um, powder coated steel so those are going to last unlike those flimsy wooden rings. Um, we've got a pair of kettlebells uh, that's mostly aesthetic. Uh, the foam box, which is going to protect our shins. Got a nice belt made in the USA. Uh, that Fraser patch, which is just you know a little extra motivation. You can't discount that. That's perfect. The yoke conversion kit for above squat rack. Uh, we got our nanos. We got our power lifters. We got these rollers and floss and all that stuff that no one knows what it's for. Um, deadlift platform with the tiles. We're going to take four of those out and replace it with wood. Give ourselves a nice ollie platform. Um, we've got our pull-up package. Got two of those and the silver bands for when we want to pull heavy. We've got our landmine. Um, we've got our landmine handle. We've got our GHD adjustable bench and the reverse hyper. Everything you need to get going. Obviously, you're going to want to beef this set, beef this setup up later. Um, we haven't even talked about dumbbells, but I, you don't need those right away. Pick that sucker up in Columbus. Save yourselves 260 by eliminating those kilogram plates. Um, so yeah, I mean, no problem. It's probably going to take like one or two trips, but not a huge deal, you know. Not a huge deal at all. Now, if there's any way to get out from under this tax, it's ridiculous. But 18, 840, 22, not a big deal at all. Uh, that's it for today. Um, that's uh, your basic gym package to get you started. Um, yeah.